Blacks in Technology. Black, 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 blacks in technology. Blacks in technology. Black, blacks in technology. Blacks in technology. Black, blacks in technology. Okay, welcome everybody to the Blacks in Technology audio podcast uh, adventure. Today, or tonight, it is 8.30 tonight, uh, Friday, what's the date, November 6th? 5th. Fifth? Yep. November 5th. And we have Anthony Hall on the phone. Anthony uh, is, um, uh, he is right, for right now, Anthony is the Director of Sales and Business Development for Software Developer, and he is uh, organizing and uh, the roles of education organization. You got it. So let's start, let's, let's get into it, Anthony. Uh, go ahead and, and reintroduce yourself and tell us a little bit about yourself. Okay. Well, Greg, Ronnie, it's uh, great to be here tonight, and I really appreciate the opportunity to speak about the organization because it's something that's real close to my heart and re- really means a lot to me. So something I, I dedicated my life to. This is my life's work. You know, I don't plan on retiring. I plan on doing this <laughs> until I drop, put it that way. But, but it's so much fun. But um, I, you said, yes, I am the Director of Sales and Business Development for Pegasus Disk Technologies, which is an archive and compliant software developer. Our software is integrated with other applications like a check imaging or uh, uh, medical report management or, you know, document management, hospitality for, you know, it it was funny. I just got a call from the MGM Mirage Casino and Hotel in Las Vegas, and Uh they allowed one of their software (laughs) contracts to expire, and so they have to pay big money. Just yeah. for the maintenance, just in order to get reinstated. So, so it's it's it, but it's, it's a great market. But I've been there 13 years, and you know I'm I've been in hardware and software for almost it was 18 years, going on 19 years now. Okay. And you know, hey, do I you know I'm ready to do something else? But great. Do I so, so where what where, where are you out of? Where I am based out of my home in Cleveland, Ohio. I actually relocated. Year um, three years ago when I met my wife, you know, okay. I was out here on a business trip to Columbus, and you know, we started talking and talking. We talked every day for six months, every day, six months, and it's like, hey, you know what? My kids are grown. I, you know, I sold my houses, sold my furniture, uh, packed up my car, and drove out to the Midwest, and didn't look back. And it was the best move I made. Best move I made. And so where, we, where, where are you originally from? Uh, I'm originally from the San Francisco Bay Area, uh, the wow. East Bay, so about That's 30 minutes. Yeah, oh yeah, it was a, it was a, it was a move. But everything happened so fast. I put, I put yeah. an ad out that I'm, you know, everything must go. I sold my entire, my my entire home, you know, washer and dryer, living room set, bedroom set, dining set, uh, family room, you know, everything. You know, one day a real estate stager came in. She saw it and took it all because it was it was still new. You know, it was yeah. New and you know, and yeah, packed it up. And I, I got in my car. You know, I'm glad I'm glad I bought me a nice car, so it was nice. <laughs> so maybe drive. <laughs> it drive a little fun. You know, I could just cruise. You know, all the way here. It was great. It took me 31 hours to get here, so a little over three days. You know, I stopped. But and so yeah, it was, what we what we did was announce it as a. We use it as a marketing tool to say that Pegasus is expanding, you know, because it could be looked because, you know, I, I deal with customers all over the world, and so they see that I've left the company and I'm now in a different part of the country. Hey, what's going on? So we, we let them know that this is to better serve our Midwest and East Coast customers as well as our European customers because now I'm in the same time zone as the vast majority of our software partners. Gotcha. And then I'm also, instead of being nine hours difference from California to Germany, I'm only six hours, so it's it's a little better. It makes it a little nicer. But yeah, from the Golden State to the Buckeye State. Oh, you know, uh, and this this is a this is a fantastic state. I can't get over it. I don't know what everybody's talking about. I mean, every, <laughs> I don't know what everybody's going to complain about. This is a fantastic place to live, and and things are growing, and things are things are moving. And and I got to get down to Cincinnati, man. We got we got to hook up because actually. Uh, one of our uh, big software partners, uh, Quest Diagnostics. Um, okay, yeah. 
Yeah, so you know, they use our software for their Optimax. Um, you know, they have, they, have, they, have a, they, have a, they have a company called um, uh, MedPlus. MedPlus is actually was acquired by Quest Diagnostics. MedPlus has an application for patient report imaging. And so, you know, keeping that information because you have to store that, I mean, you know, for years, and you have to archive it and make sure it can't be deleted or hasn't been altered. And so, so, they're, so they're down in that area, and, and now that I'm here, it's only, you know, what, four-hour drive or something? From yeah, about four hours. And, yeah, so I can do that. Dude, that's no problem. <laughs> I like to yeah, drive that anyway. That company, Mad Plus, they've been hiring quite a bit out this way. But, um, hey, Anthony, did you say you did software development at one time? Well, well, I... I'm in sales, man. So I, I'm not a program. I don't, I don't have the patience to, uh, to be sitting in front of the computer. Even though now I find myself, that's all I do is I'm in front of my computer. But, uh, but yeah, I, I need to be talking with people. It's hard for me to just be with the, you know, with the, with the codes and the text and everything. I, you know, I, that's that's not my thing. So talking to people is my thing. And because I've been there 13 years, you know, you hear the same questions, and, and I have a good grasp of the concept of how the software was de developed and you know so but it's easy to talk about archiving everybody understands that and not, you know it's, and it's just it's about storage you know storage short term storage okay. long term okay people understand yeah. storage long term is a specific media it has to be stored on if it's going to be a very long time like for 50 or 100 years and oh. so yeah so that, so that wasn't that difficult but yeah um but i do have a really good understanding of of how our software was designed our um our uh, Brad Baker, who is the architect of our software, he's, he's he's kind of like a genius. He understands it, and so that is kind of what kind of led me to thinking about how, if I was to start my own company, how would I do it? If, if a software application, hmm, what makes our software so good? I had to ask myself when we only have one product. We've always only had one product, where our competitors have ten, twenty products, and. They're, they're scrambling to keep up, and we're still just chugging along. You know, we're like the tortoise and the hare. You know, they're they're yeah. flying ahead, but we're keeping pace. And they're not getting that far. We're still we still keep plugging along. So there was something about the way that our software was designed that led me to think, okay. And so when I delved deeper into it, I said, ah, that makes sense. It only does one thing, one thing only, and. That's why it works so good. That's why we still have installations with people who are using DOS. Our, our DOS version of our software is still running out there. OS2 Man. and NetWare versions of it are still running. Our first installation was at the White House, the George Bush Presidential Library. That's wow. the kind of stuff that we do. But, you know, so I looked at that and said, you know what? I don't want to, you know, I, I love storage, but, you know, um, how can I stay in storage but then still do a little something different? Because that market is saturated. So I'm looking at other places around where I can do, hmm, what can I do? And so I started looking around, and, and I saw a need, a need for information and access and how to do that better. And so I'm looking around, and I find companies like, you know, hey, Blackfin Technology. It's like, oh, man, I hadn't seen that. Shoot, I, I hardly see any. Just, you know, you had Kai, <laughs> Kai Dupuy on. Well, you know, Kai yeah. is one of the Kai was one of the first brothers I talked to when all this started. He, he, he helped launch me, my conversation with him. He, he inspired me. And so I have to thank, I owe him a great debt of gratitude because he's the one who helped put me on the right path and track. And so, because, you, know, you know, he was telling me about all these organizations. So, so uh -huh. I looked you guys up and I joined and I looked up, you know, uh, minorities in technology and joined. Then I, then I found, you know, BDPA. Yeah. Oh, man, and, and they're local. Now, that was great. So I, yeah. so I joined BDPA, and uh, I'm a part of the Cleveland branch, and so I've been to a couple of meetings, and it's been great. It has been awesome. And, and, and let, let, actually, before I forget, because um, what, what's important for us to say, because I believe you, you're a member of uh, BDPA, uh, Greg? No, no, I'm not a, I'm not a member uh, of our local chapter. Um, you're on the LinkedIn group, but, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, that's fine, that's fine, because, but, because this – uh, a couple of weekends ago, I was I was called in to help work on the uh, national membership drive campaign uh, presentation uh -huh. that that uh, they'll be giving to the board on the 12th. And so uh -huh. I was like, I, you know, I'm just a new guy, but 
<laughs> I guess they like my energy and enthusiasm, and like, hey, next so when it calls, hey, I'm I'm ready to go. Let me go. So, I mean, I'm on the phone with Earl Pace. He's the the founder of, and I'm like, wow. I mean, there was a man. There was a lot of good knowledge flying around. So I learned so much, and so, wow. and and so part of what our company wants to do, our organization wants to do, is to help support those initiatives. And and uh, Wayne Hicks, you, you guys know Wayne Hicks. Yeah, we um, we've actually met in uh, had breakfast. Oh, that's, that that's great. Well, because one of the things that we're doing, and I told and I told um, Wayne, you know, um, he contacted me tonight, and so I and I told him that. But they have a fundraiser course going on. It's, it's okay. the, um, you know, I don't know if you guys have heard of the Jesse Bimley uh, Foundation uh, uh, scholarships they're having. A, uh, it's called the Jesse Bimley uh, Scholarship. Let me put it, bring it up. Scholarship Fund. What they're trying to do, this uh-huh. is a PDPA that, and Wayne is a part of the Education and Technology Foundation. Yeah. Uh, so B E T F. B E T F. Yeah. Yeah. What they're trying to do is raise twenty five hundred dollars. Um, uh, I would say on the crowdwise on, on this crowd on this drive to fund the Bimley scholarships for their fifth place team in a in a 2011 national high school computer competition. So yeah. and so they have these kids who, who's got who got fifth place and they only need 2,500 dollars for them to participate in this. And so I said, oh, let me help. In fact, and so what I want to announce tonight is that. On behalf of the Rose of Education organization, we are contributing, we're pledging and contributing $500 for and uh, in support of this drive. So, so they got $500. So now all they need is $2,000. So, you know, we're trying to get the word out, let everybody know that this is, you know, we we need we need more of these type of young black young black men and women who are interested in technology and who are being educated by this wonderful organization, BDPA. So we're encouraging everybody to, hey, give them a hand. It doesn't take much. You know, if you got $25, you know, throw them $25. It doesn't, it doesn't take that much. Yeah. You know, it doesn't take that many people. You know, 100 people, you know, even less than that. But, to, you know, maybe, okay, 100 people at 20 bucks each. There you go. Exactly. They got their money. But, you know, let's send them with a little bit more style than that just than just, you know, eating at McDonalds, you know, let's make sure that they you know, that they roll in there in style, not like, you know, that they're dragging their heels and you know, you know, like they like they walk there. We don't want to send them there that we don't want to send them there that way. You know yeah, exactly. we don't want to send them there flying. Do you, you have know, that information while, you know, that you but can... in that analogy but and so that's that's what we're doing. You know, we're trying to find any way we can so the whole idea is for this organization to find any way it can to support these education, you know, support yeah. some training, and support mentoring, and support access to information so that future and other, you know, aspiring young men and women, African American, other minorities have an opportunity to have these things, to have this opportunity, have the chance to go places and see things that they've never seen before and be outside it, see that their world, that the world is so much bigger and brighter than they can imagine and that it's theirs too. It's theirs too, and we're going to make sure that they get their piece of it. And, you know, um, yeah, I, I, what I'd like to do is kind of give you the, you know, I, got, I, I have it down to one sentence, my, uh, okay. you know, my, my spiel, <laughs> as it were. I've, been, I've been trying to practice it. I, have okay. practice, I, try, I, have to practice, I try to practice it every day. And so... Well, let, let, let me let me uh, let me set this up a, a, a little bit. Now, this is okay. the, the spill is about the roles of education organization. I'm guessing. Yeah. yeah okay. Exactly. Now, now I've I've been um, I've been following. Yeah. Uh, of course, I joined the group, the LinkedIn group. There is a LinkedIn group out there. It's called the Roles of Education Organization. For anybody that is listening, I've been following. You know the uh, um, uh, the discussions and everything like that pretty closely, uh, and Let's let, let's talk about real quick what because when I when I when I initially uh, uh, started following the discussion, it was almost presented as an operating system. So then after some more discussion, some more comments, it got you know um, <laughs> clarified that it's more of a communication software. Mm-hmm. Am, am I right? So can you can you describe and and when I, when I read some of the uh, some of the other discussions. And and some of the um, 
the uh, the details that you that you uh, that you describe. It actually sounds like, and I apologize if I'm if I'm minimizing or minimalizing it in any way okay. at all. It, it's almost like a a, uh, a Facebook meets Match. dot com meets mentoring. Yeah, wow. I, I thought about that way, but all those will be a part of it. <laughs> Got you. Got you. So, so it's it's an it's an education, mentoring, communications type software. So yeah. let, let's roll with that and let's let's uh, okay. let you describe exactly what it is. Okay. Well, what it is is what it is is an organism. That's what it is. It, okay. Uh, it, 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 become, it can become anything it needs to be. That's what this software is. Whatever it okay. needs to be, it would, whether it be an operating system, whether, it needs, uh-huh. whether it's a database, whether it's a network, whether it's wireless, whether it's a social media network, it, it will be all of them and none of those. It, 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 so it's, it, it, it will have the ability to do, to do whatever it needs to do and do it in a way that's more efficient and kind of clear the path so that we can get to the things we need to get to. And, and, and to, to go back to... And, and it's really it's all a part of you know the rows of education. Yeah, it, it, it's all everything is connected. Even all those businesses that I I listed to you in parts, everything is connected to that one central idea. And and and, it, and it's all about achieving one agenda. And so, and what's the, what's the main purpose of the rows of education organization? All right, so, so people out there can kind of get a feel of. Okay, what, what I, and I got and I got it for you, and I got it for you because. Here it is, and this is going to be part of our national campaign. Okay. Um, it's going to start with, have you met the rose? Have you met the rose? You know, have you met being an acronym, M, capital M, dot, capital E, dot, capital T, dot? So have you met the rose? And, and so that goes into, it is the rose of education's duty. It is our responsibility as their advocate to nurture aspiring African-American males ages 6 through 10 and their families by taking a holistic and socially responsible approach to enrich them, to empower them, and to uplift them using mentoring, there's that capital M, education, Uh there's the E, and technology, there's the T. And so that is what... The organization is about is about using the things that we have, mentoring, education, technology, to help these kids, help these kids find out what they want to be, what they want to do, and because it's hard. It's, but see, it's hard. It's difficult yeah. because it's really not the kids' fault. It's not their really problem. I mean, they're just innocent. I mean, six to ten years old. I mean, what 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 power do they have? It's it's the families. It's their the adult support system that. Kind of have kind of lost their way, or they have so many things in their path that they can't, they don't have time or the attention or the ability to get to that young child to make sure that they're getting their homework done, or making sure that they're staying out of trouble, or making sure that they're eating correctly, or making sure that they're, you know, not getting into trouble. I mean, you know, parents, they have it tough. You know, yeah. Single mom, three kids, you know, she's working full time, but, you know, doesn't have a car, so I have to take the bus all over the place. You know, so she, and not only that, you know, she got to cook dinner when she gets home. She has to pick up, you know, you know, she got she's got to run. She's always running. And then because her knucklehead sons, you know, don't know how to don't know how to use the wash and dryer down at the laundry mat, she has to do, haul all that stuff down there and, and and do that. You know, waiting in line, you know, using the machines and trying to get just trying to get, and, and that takes about six to eight hours out of her week. Now, suppose that you show that, hey, you know what, there's an organization that actually can help you. They do, they come and pick up your laundry, and they're yeah. not too far. And they'll do it for about 20 bucks. And all of a sudden, she said, hey, I can do that. I can pay that. I, I can afford that because... It gives her it gives her six or eight out, more hours out of her today. And now all of a sudden, if you give a woman like that who's working hard, taking care of her kids, trying to make sure 
that they're doing stuff, but, you know, she doesn't have the time and, you know, she feels bad and, you know, feels, you know, she goes to sleep crying each night because, you know, she's, she knows that she, she's trying to do as best she can, but she can't seem to get it. Things seem to be sliding. So you give this kind of woman eight more hours in her week? What do you think is going to happen? Anthony. Yeah. And yeah. this Ronnie. I, I definitely can agree that we definitely need more mentors out there in the community to help with our African American kids. But yeah. I have a question with um to you about your foundation. Like um please, how long do you that. think how long do you think um your application or your communication device is gonna take and how many um volunteers have you gotten already to help develop this? Have you um even thought yeah, about oh, opening it up great. to the have you um, thought about opening it up to the open source community to um, help with the development effort or just let us know where you're at in the process and how far far along no, you are that's with great. You know, but see, this thing, let me tell you how, how quickly all this has happened. This started with an article that I wrote Written, I wrote, I guess I always get that, I always get mixed up on that one. Middle of August, called America, We Have a Language Problem. And, and you know, and I, and I sent, and, I, and actually, Wayne Hicks, he actually read it, and he says, you know what, I'd like to list it on his, elect, you know, his, so his Electronic Village web uh, blog, and then he has a, um, his blog, Safari. So he actually, yeah. he actually listed my, my article as part of this recommended reason you know, in his uh, blog safari number 42. And so it started with that, and I started talking to people. And so, you know, we started, you know, had about 12 or so of us, you know, so in about a couple of months, you know, about 12 of us were talking and just you know, talking about all these things, and I'm meeting people. And then, you know, I'm talking, and then, I, then I'm starting to get this idea starting to form about, huh, technology, hmm, information, teachers, wow, wow, okay, let's see, let's see. I, I'm seeing something develop, and so things so things really start rolling as you know as, as I'm talking and things are being kind of condensed and crystallized about what how this might how this could work and how it would look, and and so a month ago, I was given a suggestion by um, uh, a woman. Her name is Lo- Lorna Kawaja. She uh, she has a LinkedIn uh, group called No Wooden Nickels. She it actually that she's the founder of this nonprofit organization. That uh, mm-hmm. deals with uh, out of service oncology. Uh, um, yeah, uh, tell people who are going through, you know, with cancer and there's things that aren't covered by their insurance, or you know, they're out of service, and so. But you know, how do they get help? So, and so she made a suggestion that why don't you start a group on LinkedIn? And it could. Yeah. Hey, that's a great idea. And so I did. So one month ago, I started the group. There was 12 of us. Our numbers have our numbers have nearly quadrupled in just one month. So there's 45 members of this group in okay. just in just 30 days, and just by me talking to people. And there was a couple of people who came in because they saw, you know, because I listed it and I'm sending stuff out. But and then there were a few people who joined. There were about three or four or five who joined because they were invited by a couple other members. But mainly it's just by me talking. And so I'm saying, okay, so something is going good here. So if if we can go with just one person talking directly with people, we can go from basically 12 to 45 in in the short in that short span of time. I'm thinking, oh, we, we got to you know, we got to kick this in gear. And so what? Uh, so basically, what this is about the software app. What, the, what initially what the software application will do, and the the, the Rose of Education Organization group is actually a model for right now. It'll, it's going to operate as a network. It's going to operate as a network and a database and to pull and search and get information, and we're going to, we're modeling the uh, the network as it, as it stands right now as, as it's in development. We're, we're modeling a- after the group, and so we have 45 members. You know, they're all professionals, you know, business people, entrepreneurs, and so they have uh-huh. their, they have their blogs and websites and tweets and and articles and uh, vast why just like you, Greg. You know, we all keep a we all keep a vast library of information that's uh, helpful to us. You know, we are brokers in information. You know, if, it doesn't matter what, what, what our job title is, what kind of company we work for, that's really all it's about. We're brokers of information. We are the people that, if people need to know something, what to do, how to get here, what, you know, how does this work, they come to people like you and I. And, and they come 
a lot if they know we have some good information. And so what do we do? So we use our blogs and our tweets and our articles and stuff, and so we say, okay, here's some information that I found, or here's some information that through my experience, you know, you put it in a form like an article or, you know, just like you guys have on, a, on, a, on, a, on your website. Uh-huh. And so, so and people can, and anybody can come. They, all they either have to join or they just have to follow your tweet or look at your blog or whatever, and they, and they get that. They get that. They get the good stuff. And for people like us, that's all we need, really, you know, because uh, you know, that's the good stuff because we're smart enough and we know, okay, we got that. If I need something greater than, let's see, let me find a group where maybe I can get something better for free. And so that's what we do. We call and search and find and we try to find stuff. And we find we find the great stuff that actually helps us to start businesses. It helps us to close a million dollar technology deal. It helps us sit sit in a room with the CEO, the CFO, the CTO, the COO, and give a presentation about our small little company and why they need to buy our software. And so Anthony then they, are, and then they sign. And so that's the kind of information that's available that we get. So I'm thinking, okay, imagine now if you take that same type of high level information and put it in the hands of that single mother who's you know, now we now that she has a little bit more time on her uh-huh. on her hands because of having uh, somebody take care of the laundry for her and she start and she's got things uncontrolled, they more in control. So now she's like, Okay, hmm. What else? You know, I've been thinking about, you know, I need to find out about investing. I, oh, I, I need to find out, you know, I always wanted to go back to school, but I wasn't sure. I always, wanted, I always wanted to do this or that. Now that people have time and a little more breathing room, they can start evaluating themselves and what they need. And then they start looking around. But what, what, what do they run into? What is, the, what is probably the most aggravating thing people experience when they get on the web and start searching? What, 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 what would you guys say? What, what frustrates you guys? Um, the, well, me personally, this is Greg. Um, it's, it's, there's so much information out there and so from so many different sources, sometimes it's hard to distinguish what the right information is. Right. Right. And, and, and it's crazy. And so for people like us who are professional surfers, <laughs> okay, yeah. if it's hard for us, how hard do you think it's for somebody who has to go down to the library and and they give you a couple of websites and, you know, like, okay, what am I supposed to do with it? Okay, you hit kick on the link, you, you, you think it's something, but it turns out to be an advertisement. You think it's something else, but, hey, wait a minute, what, what, what's all this stuff? Why, what is all this stuff? So what you're and saying so, is these people need the, what, what your software is uh, and your organization is going to do is give these people direction. We are yes. going to give them the only the information they look they're looking for and only the information they need. They're going to get exactly what they need because because we are we are being given access to it through the members of the organization. We will be connecting with their tweets and their blogs and their websites and the articles and. And, we'll, and so when, it, when the need arises for a specific call for information, we'll go out. What, what we'll do is, you know, that process is going Sorry. to be automated. We're going to automate no. the process of getting the information that a person is looking for. And so it, you, it's not going to take you uh, 10, 20 different places. It's going to take you to you know, exactly this information, and we're going to go get it. And because and so hey. part of that, what's involved with that, Steve, to do that, you have to have, you know, you have to have a, a nice, a good search engine. You have to have the information tagged a specific way. You have to have a, a way to make sure that when you get that information, it's not attached with a lot of, you know, bells and whistles and zings and pop-ups and, pop-ups and everything else. You know, you just want to get them the information. But more than that, though, it's, it's, but it's more than just information. It's, it's so much more than that because what happens when someone like uh, that young woman, you know, who's kind of, you know, she's getting this information, but she, she, doesn't know, she doesn't know how it applies to her in her situation. You know, she, she doesn't have anything to relate, to relate it to. So then, what, then, what, then where the, the important piece of this is the stories of those people who have provided that information. What we're finding is that these African-American 
business people and professionals who are becoming a part of this, as well as others. I mean, we have eight different countries represented in the group. Okay. And and, these, and so you have people who are of all, of all different persuasions and different experiences, but mainly it's, it's African American based. And so you have people who have come from those same streets, of those same dysfunction, those same lifestyles, and the same pain and agony, but they've succeeded. They've made it. They know what the pitfalls are. They know what the hurdles are, and they know how to get around it. And so we're adding that to the information that this person is getting. We're saying, here's somebody like you. Here's somebody from your same in, uh, situation, and this is how they made it. And so and they basically it's, it's almost like the person is talking to them. And so you know, we're going to set up in a format where it's, it's more personalized. I mean, it, it, and it can be just their, a bit of their story about how they made it and how they got here and there and how they got around it how they got through those closed and locked doors and, and how they put their one foot in front of the other. And so we're going to attach that to, so it's, it's going to be more than information. It's, so that's where the mentoring at the virtual mentoring, mentoring aspect. Okay. And so, it, but, it, but it's not just information. It's not going to be just dispassionate, sterile information. It's going to speak to their heart. And so they're going to say, now, now that's what I needed to hear. I needed to hear someone who speaks, my, understands my language, who understands my situation and, and, no, and then, so then they, they're able to make those relations to, to their environment and to their circumstances, and now they can really utilize that information in a purposeful and meaningful way that really gets them, gets them some progress. And so, so, so it, Anthony, yeah. I have a quick question. Yeah. So are you, are you saying, are you going to try to identify a numerous of resources that you can pretty much index and allow people to search content upon the data that you index from different sites that you feel that's useful. Like you can select several different blog sites that you've been to and say, hey, they have a lot of good information here. Their tweets are good. This site has a nice forum with a bunch of data. So I'm going to take this website that I constantly scrape for data, index it, and when people search, that is where the content is going to come from, from those select sites versus trying to go to index the whole internet and provide right. information of stuff that's tagged, but you just want yeah. to yeah. selectively so, yeah, yeah. pick it. Yeah, so there's also, going to be a need for a specific indexing and tagging or watermarking of, of these new sites and, and uh, the information because we have to, you have to tag it in a specific way so that you have to create a template and you have to create a, um, uh, some data points and, and a way to identify. So when a person say, I want, I'm looking for, you know, uh, how to analyze my finances, and, you know, they have to, you know, you, you basically you have them, hopefully we'll, 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 we'll try to make it as uh, easy as possible. But, you know, they're, they're, you, need, you need to have some specific information if you want to get the right details. So, you know, we, what, one of the things we have to do is to, uh, yeah, we have to work around people's short attention span, but we also say, listen, if you want, if you want the, best information, then you'll take some time and analyze your, your situation so that we can help you. You know, we're not going to do it. We're not trying to do it in, in, in two seconds. You know, that's our problem right now because we, we feel we don't have enough time. So, but, so, okay, so we make them go through a, a little few hoops, a few extra hoops to put in the information that's required, and then that can be matched up with, with a, a relevant information that will be available. So part of the, but part of the problem will be and, you know, still, you're still dealing with a network that ha has to go everywhere. And, you know, how do you know that e even still if you're going to get information, they'll still, it can still come back with a bunch of websites that are popping up and the people that have ads and everything. So we want, to strip, we want to strip all that away. It has to be clean. We're going to put it on a clean slate. We're going to strip everything away and only what's necessary. I mean, you'll still be identified as, you know, you know like Blacks in Technology or, or, or somebody else's, you know, uh, I mean, I like what you guys have, and you guys don't have a lot going on. It's just the information, so it, so it's going to be something like that, but but a little different. It's like it's going to be a, it's going to be a clean slate. Um, when people sign up, you know, we'll we'll kind of we'll do something to kind of duplicate their uh, their website. And I, have, I, I thought a couple of ways of doing this, and I don't really want to get too much into it, but I kind of got an idea about how to do that. But mainly, you know, like I said, this this thing is going to be this thing is going to evolve and grow, and so I, I've already. 
I've already seen I've already seen it as an operating system, so that's one of the reasons I said an operating system because that's what that will be one of its capabilities. But in this aspect, it'll just be uh, it'll, it'll it'll just it's going to continue to continue to evolve. It's going to continue to to move and and shape itself into whatever whatever is needed. So, but you know, I talk about clean information. What I really want to start is a clean information revolution to change and and really create an, an alternate internet experience where people like us we just want what we want we don't need to you know we don't need the the golf we don't need the you know well sometimes you need golf i, I mean i love the golf and you know, but <laughs> we, you don't need all that other junk that comes with that just distracts and 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 just you know takes up your resources anyway because you you know they're trying to scroll this and and, and find out with this flight you know we, we we want the resources of the, of the system to be fully purposed to just getting the information. And so we, and uh, that's what we're going to do. We're gonna, so that's part of it is also creating a, a new internet. And I have an idea about, we have, so we've been talking, we have some ideas about that. We're going to, we're, we're not going to, we're not going to backtrack. We're not going to reverse engineer anything. We're going gotcha. to. We're, we're, yep. we're, I have we're, another we're, question for When you backtrack, you get lost. And because what happens is if you try to backtrack, you you don't realize that, you dodged a lot of bullets just getting as far as you got. And you don't, because you don't want to go back there because you might not make it out <laughs> because they're hey, on a lot of for technology. So we're not going to backtrack. We're going to go around and go to yeah. the beginning and find out what was it designed to do, then what was it made to do. And then that's how you figure it out. That's how you figure out the problem. You go back. You go back to the beginning. What is, why did they make it? Then, well, let me see how they how what they've done to made to do something else because it's been made to do something else. And once you once you make so we made that connection and so we're doing some research on that to figure okay what exactly was the deal and where they made the problem then well, then we see that then we can start. So we we're not we're not reinventing anything we're just you know going in a different re- direction. But from you know we we'll see how far we we'll see how far along they got before it went off track and we'll start there. We'll start where they went off track and go and and go a different way because we'll see what you, we'll know what the purpose was and we know what our purpose is for the software. So it's only going to do what it's designed to do, and that's just to get information to communicate and communicate efficiently, precisely, and fast. Hey, well, so Ronnie, you they, had a question there. Yeah, 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 I was going to ask you another question. Um, I, like I mentioned earlier, I definitely believe that we need more mentors in the African American community and stuff. But one one thing I find challenging is trying to get some kids to engage in our efforts because there's a lot of efforts out there. There's BDPA, there's the Blacks in Technology, and there's several others. And a lot of people with um, a good heart who wants to help our young ones. And I have several family members, young and stuff, that I've always reached out to and say, hey. Ask me about computers. I'll show you. Uh, I want you to be successful. But sometimes I, I don't think that they um, really grab hold of that. And sometimes that what sets me back on creating all these new tools for them is, is to think about: Are they really going to use these resources that we put in place? So have you have you came up with something else that you feel that you can help engage? The young people or older people to want to do more for themselves and and um, get them motivated and let them see that they can be something else or change their mindset of what they feel that's successful. Yeah, and I think that's part of the issue is that because they, there is not enough mentors out there, they're not seeing they're not seeing all the possibilities, and that's part of the problem. They don't see all the possibilities. They only see a few of the faces, and. And if people like like you guys who put up a website and are, are doing such a wonderful work, and I, I'm, I'm so glad to have met you guys. I'm so, so glad to be a part of the group and because I support that, and, and we want to do our, everything we can to, to, to drive that initiative, to engage these young people. But, you know, we, again, we, we have to understand who they are and what they need, and they don't all match up to our expectations or to our, um, you know, to our faces. And so, but... There's, but there are a lot of us out there that they do match up with. And if, if we can get them in front of these kids or get their stories out, then it's like, oh, I get it. 
when they start when they start seeing an army of African American professionals in all ranges of the technology field, in all aspects, whether it be as a as a compiler or as a as a um, as a, a health technician, I want you know. There's, there's so many fields that are just fascinating. Every, everything needs technology today. Everything, even yeah. development of a football. I mean, if you can expose all the technology and things that they that they have around their house that that was taken to, you know, find what you do is you find what they love and then you show them the, the, te- the technology involved in that. Wouldn't you like to be a part of that, young man or young woman? Wouldn't you like to? Cause did you know that? Actually, it took. This is how this is made. I mean, I'm working on a um, presentation to give at the high school. I, I got my presentation down, and they, they, they're not going to know what to think of me when I come out on the stage. I mean, because I because I'm going to do I'm going to do a little differently, and I'm going to, you know, I'm going to be on their level because I I know where they're at because I'm because I finally got back there, and I remember what it was like when I was a kid and a high school kid and a young kid, and so I I, I know how to approach them because. You know, I got kids that age now too, and, and younger, and you know, I, you know, they're all they're all around. So I see what they're doing, see what they're talking about. So I know how we'll, how we'll approach them, and I'll either use a basketball or football, and I'm going to show them. You know, ask them what it is. You know, what is what is this? And if you can tell me what it is, all you guys can go. And by some, you're going to have to think about it. You better think about it good because it's not what you think it is. So you know, I'm so I'm going to challenge them. You know, say. You know, somebody, so they'll, they'll come up with some lame answers because, you know, you know, but maybe you might get some sharp ones. I hope I hope we get some sharp ones. But they'll say, okay, you know, that's what it is. I say, well, if you, if you think, if you only think it's one thing, then what this is is a prison. You guys know what a prison is. They all know what a prison is. They've got mamas and daddies and uncles and brothers and sisters in, in prison. Now, but I say, what, what but, that, but that's only if you think it's one thing. But what it really is, is a prism, and I'll ask him, do you know how to spell that? Do you know what a prism is? And I'll explain it to him. Yeah. And hopefully, some, hopefully there'll be a couple who know how to spell it, and hopefully there'll be some who, who know what it means. And I'll say, this is a prism. And then I'm going to go and tell them the story, uh, Plato's <laughs> uh, uh, cave simile. And so I got that. So, I have, so I'm going to tie all that in. And I'm, but I'm gonna basically, I'm going to get around to the fact that, you know, it's, it's not what you think it is. It's so much more. You know, yeah. talk to them about all the technologies involved, talking about all the, you know, talk about the physics of it, aerodynamics, uh, chemicals, uh, uh, architecture, you know, you know, everything that's involved that, to make that football. And so, he, you know, so you open it up, and, it be, and it's like a rose. So really, it's like a rose, but when it blossoms, oh, it's more than just a football. You show them, you show them everything. That's how you engage them. You show them everything. You know, you know, so whatever you, you're trying to teach them, okay, relate, just all you do is relate it to what they got in their hands or what they're playing with or what they're interested in, and you expose the technology in that. And so one of the, one, one of the products that is um, we, we had a kind of nice breakthrough on as far as, as, far as understanding more of the concept, how to get there, is, is, uh, for the, is our 501C3 organization. And, again, let, let, me get, let me go back. The whole process was accelerated. I wasn't planning on starting things so fast. Yeah. I really wasn't. I really wasn't. I just want to go one at a time. Well, what, you know, get the, get the Rose of Education off the ground and, and then follow that up with the Rose Coaches for Kids, which is, their non, which is going to be our nonprofit. But the election, the election happened, and I said, that is our ticket. It's our ticket now to start. You know, um, we can't wait. The door of opportunity is open, so we are flying through it because – now people are really wondering what's going to happen. I mean, the Republicans are taking the House. What's going to happen? You know, all of Obama's yeah. initiatives, they're just, ooh, man, they're, they're, they're on the chopping block. You know, they're, kind of, they're going to try to undo everything that Obama's been trying to do. And now, you know, you've got the Republican governor and, you know, governor-elect cases now. And so people are wondering what's going to happen. So this is our opportunity. And so I've been talking to uh, some incubators. You know, you know there's uh, – Jumpstart, you know, I sign up for the advisory uh, advisory board to hook me up with uh, you know, mentors, business mentors, and everything. And I went to Glide at Lorraine Community College to talk to those guys, and, uh-huh. and I, mean, I got great information. But you know, they say, okay, we'll get back to you. And I'm saying, you know what? If 
we need to be on a fast track. I mean, because what we're trying to do is something good. And I'm, I'm, so I, la- I laid out to them all the things I laid out to you. I sent you, Greg, in profession, you know, to show you all those things that I said that are coming online. And they yeah. still don't get it. You know, they don't take, they don't take us seriously. They don't take, you know, they don't, and they don't take an, an uh, impassioned and, and uh, energetic African-American male saying, this is what's happening. I'm actually, you know, I'm telling them, I'm interviewing you. You're not interviewing me because this is happening. And so we are looking for people who want to work with us. And so, and if you work with us, you can help us with everything else. But, you know, hey, so, you know, it's because we're taking this everywhere. And so we decided that with the election, now is the time to do it. We are putting ourselves on a fast track. You know, we're not waiting to be put on a fast track. We're going to do it ourselves because we're going to build the track ourselves. <laughs> That's always the best way. Do it yourself. You know, so, so we'll build the track. But, see, our, our track isn't uh, the t- traditional track. What, what our track really is is a runway because <laughs> we're taking off in a jet. So it's just clearing, clear, clearing the runway for takeoff, and that's what's, that's what's going to happen, and that's what I'm announcing tonight is that we are about to take off. January 1st, 2011, where it's going to be a major, a major jobs push. We are going to be announcing that jobs are coming to Ohio, that new businesses are coming to Ohio, that 2011 is the year of new business, is the year we are going to start, we're going to start to, we're going to set recession free. We're going to set it free, you know. Thanks for coming. You can go now. We don't need you anymore, recession. We are setting ourselves free. And so, and did I mention that these are African-American owned businesses? <laughs> so there's 10 companies. Ten, so there's 10 companies. The two first ones are the two, the, the two Rose organizations, the Rose of Education Organization and the Rose Coaches for Kids. And, and the, the two software applications called- Pardon the me? software application is going to be called the Virtual Mentor Machine. The Virtual Mentor Machine. I got the trade. I got trademark pending. I already okay. sent an application for the trademark to, to trademark that. And then the other one is then the other application is called Red Rose. Red is an acronym acronym for Reactive Educational Design, and that's an alternative teaching methodology based on play analysis. Check out the way a child plays, see what he's playing with, how he plays, blah, 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 and then you figure out how to expose all the technologies that are inherent in that thing that they love to do so much. And so what we're going to do, what, what the objective of, of this application will be is to design a curriculum. I have to teach the curriculum, the full curriculum, um, for each individual child, that that's that's the that's ultimately what we want to do is that putting everything, you know, putting all the information and boom, this child loves to dance. Okay, we're going to teach we're going to teach the entire curriculum through dance. Oh, uh, the child likes to draw. Oh, we're going to teach the entire curriculum. We're going to teach them science through through art. We're going to teach them dance through art. We're going to teach them physical education through art. You know, whatever it is, if, you know, uh, hey, if he's a job, that's fine. Hey, I was a jock in high school, you know, no, you know, like 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 everybody else. You know, I love sports, but you know, these guys will 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 learn the chemistry of of athleticism. They'll learn the biology of it. They'll learn the history of it. They'll learn the art of it. They'll learn the music of it. And so, we're going to be able to create uh, specific modules. These will be modules that will be available either individually or for schools or for colleges and universities, and ultimately we will have our own schools. That's, you know, I mean, that, 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 that is part of the, I, that. I kind of see that out there, you know, but there's, there's a lot of good schools out there. You know what, um, Jeffrey Canada, what he's doing, he's scaring the heck out of people. You know, he's doing it. That's the brother who's doing it right. Then here in, here in Cleveland, we just opened – Yesterday, I was at the grand opening. I got on the guest list. It was great. I mean, I just walked off the, in off the street, hit it off with the, exe- the executive assistant to the director, and I got, and I got tickets to get in. And I, I, was, I was in the room with so many people who were talking about doing the same things we're talking about doing, educating. These people, I mean, now that is a network I want to be a part of. 
And so I, yeah. I, I was I was collecting business cards right and left, and I met, you know, the commission, Commissioner Gordon, uh, the uh, no, the producer. He's working on Steve Marley's new CD. Works for Lisa oh, King. Oh, the commissioner. Yeah, yeah, I've heard of him. I was sitting down with that brother talking to him last night. You know Jahi? He's the MC, the MC Jahi. Yeah. Uh, you might guess, some, some, some folks will know him. I was talking to him last night. And he, this, these brothers are doing stuff. You, you don't know it. But these brothers, I mean, Jahi and his group, they, they're, they're putting a winery in Cleveland, an, an urban winery. We drove, I, I drove by it, up, going to the place. I said, what are these? Those are great. Great, but what was Grapevine doing on the street near the projects? And so they're starting a winery. And so I and so I talked to him, I, and I hooked him up with a brother who owns a winery in Washington. I said, hey, listen, you guys need to talk because you'll be able to help you. It's called Bimbo Estates. It's one of the few black-owned wineries in the country. I'm buying that brother's wine. You know, and I, get, I, bought, I bought a bottle, he sent me one, and he sent me a, one complimentary. And I gave it to my, my my people at the at the office, and I mean it's it was it's fantastic, and so so all these things. Right, I like wine. I'm gonna have to try that out. I like wine. Oh yeah, listen, man. I'll send you. All you have to do is go to uh, uh, Benbo Benbo Estates. It's on you know, com. You'll see da. And he's he's on LinkedIn. You know, he's one of my contacts. He's on LinkedIn. I I, I suggest you guys because we we need to support that kind of thing, and that is another aspect of this network. This is what's happened. This is what has happened with since this network has started. Business gotcha. has been happening. Connection has been happening because people who are within this network, they're not advertising themselves. They're not soliciting anybody. We're all just we're all focused on one thing, helping. That's all we're focused on. So you, you don't see any ads. You don't see any solicitations. You don't see any, oh here's a webinar. I mean a couple of people did that, but they didn't know. Then they stopped. You know we said oh that's not really what we're doing. You know so and they said, oh we understand we understand so they stopped. And so it's only about doing one thing, is bringing change to these kids' lives and these, and these people's lives for better. And so all these, like I said, there's going to be 10 companies, you know, all of them with one agenda. Ten, ten companies and eight products. Actually, nine, because we, got, we had another couple of breakthroughs and, uh, as far as concepts. Okay, here's here, something else coming. So we, we, added, we added another one, but I don't have it written down yet, so I'm not going to talk about it. But everything else, if you, if you read... All of the um, the names of, yeah. those, of those different products, those names were chosen for a reason. If you look at the names, you'll start to see that some of the ad campaigns have all, are already designed in. We have slogans already designed in. You know, I mean, because we, we, we have some fitness and health things that we're going to do. One of them is, is the complete 160 workout for fitness and toning that I have on my on the, on my on, on as a as a website and you know, a mm-hmm. blog, but you know we're gonna we're gonna clean that up some more. But we have all these ones this, some specific sports training and some specific athletic um, uh, training for kids and athletes and pros and so forth. So you know we're working all this stuff. But what's really exciting is the is the software and the and some of these hardware devices and like I said. So we're announcing a a, a a major job campaign. We are be, we are collecting and looking for people now. We but see what we need. We, because this only has one agenda is about helping all these organizations, all these products are to are to um, help support the two Rose organization, the Rose Coaches for Kids and the Rose of Education organization. That's all they do. That's all they do is support this. And so we're trying to so we're trying to get ourselves off the ground. And so, you know, we're in a process, you know, so we need grant writers. We need those right now. We need people who can write grants right now. Because gotcha. you know, there's grants so you know we're not gonna wait. You know, we're we're going we're going forward. And so we're looking for people who um, can help us get the rows of the education organization off the ground, you know, writing some grants because there's some money out there. And for those people, you know, they're interning, they're volunteering, but as soon as that money comes in, they're getting paid. And so yeah. we're looking for interns and, and everything that this company needs, organization needs to do. And so once that gets going, anyone who is, who is a part of, my, who is part of the, the group on LinkedIn will be the first looked at for jobs and where they come available. They're going to be the first. They get first choice. And actually, the, the, people, the people who are in the group right now, uh-huh. they're guaranteed a job because as, as, you know, they're the ones who helped, helped spur this process. So they're taken care of. If they don't do anything else, 
they got a job, you know. You know, I mean, we, we'll, we'll ask them to do a little bit extra, you know, to, hey, here, install this, you know, this module or, or do this so that we, when we get to the point where we've automated everything and so we just go grab it. I mean, they'll, you know, they, they can, because the way you have to do this is help, help people understand that they don't have to do much. You say, continue doing what you're doing. That's fine because you, you're giving us good stuff. So you don't have to stop. You don't have to slow down at all. You know, give us access. We'll go get it. Come get it, and then we'll let you know that we got it. And we'll let you know who we sent it to, and we'll let everybody in the network know that you provided this information. And so there's a free advertising aspect of it as well because they're promoted within the group. So people in the group say, wow, I didn't know this person. I didn't know we had a, a, a person who owned a black winery in here. Oh, I didn't know that we had one of our new members. Her name is Lillian Lincoln Lambert. She is the first African-American woman to earn an MBA, to be given an MBA from Harvard. You know what that woman's story is? She has a story. In fact, she just came out with a memoir that was published at the beginning of this year. Yeah, I, I, just actually, I actually just ordered her book. I, see, see, that's what I'm talking about. See, because we're not advertising ourselves, we're saying, oh, yeah. I, I, what I've been doing is say, oh, here's here. We should, we should celebrate. And now this woman is selling books. You know what also happened is that I looked. I looked at my uh, at my um, network. And I said, "Oh, I know this. I know a couple of people who have blog radio shows." I booked her up with three, so she's going. She she has almost uh, up to about three radio blog shows that she to talk about her book because this woman should not be having trouble selling her book. This woman is a, should be our legacy. Now, what is you know? what is your MBA in? If you don't mind, um, you know, oh, man, why don't you ask me that? Oh, well, oh, I, I didn't have that ready. I had to, I had I had to throw something in there. <laughs> LinkedIn, man, you have to go to her profile. I'll, I'll, LinkedIn. I'll check her out. I, I, I ordered her uh, her book actually from uh, from you posting on the, on the site that um, about her. So I, I looked at her book and I was like, this should, this might be an interesting. This looks like an interesting read. Uh, oh yeah, know, I, I mean, I mean that is going to be great. You know, you know what else I did? I went to Oprah. I went to Oprah and said, because she has this thing, you know, who's your hero? And so I nominated Lillian Lincoln Lambert. Said, That's the hero that we, that the young African-American men, and especially women, need to hear about. This woman went through, you know, she went through stuff that we can't even imagine. And she came yeah. out the other side shining. And, now, and, I, I want to go back to something that, that Ronnie uh, had, sure. was talking about. And he, he was, uh, he posed uh, basically made a statement about, uh, you know, getting these kids engaged. I had a conversation uh, the other day with somebody and uh, on a site, actually, and, and one of the things that, uh, that I was saying was it's not the kids out there that want to learn this stuff that, that where we're going to have, you know, where we need to actually uh, – um, where we're going to have a problem with getting. It's the kids out there that don't get it. How do right. we get those kids? Uh, how do we get, you know, engage those kids? And you and you made a good point about, you know, going about with something they do every day. You know, like you know, if they play football, kind of unravel the football and say, hey, this is this is how this works, and you know, all the technology and physics and everything that goes into the, into making this this football. Because it's easy, it's easy to get kids that are already, you know, sort of interested in and they just need a little direction. But it, the the hard thing is to it's to kind of grab those kids that are that are, that are kind of fighting it. I, I kind of um, an analogy I kind of used was, you know, um, you you have these expert um, uh, rescue divers that you know will jump in the water at any given moment to go save somebody who's drowning, uh, and it's easy to to rescue somebody who's calm, you know, right. who's you know, but it's 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 hard to rescue you know the ones that are fighting with you and and pulling you under and and things like that. So how do we get those kids, how do we grab those kids and say, hey, here it is, here's the bigger picture, here's the vision. It's not as hard as you think to get there, you know. Yeah, I mean, and I think, we, have to come I think at, we have to come at we have to come at them differently because the way yeah. we approach now is, you know, they, they see us coming and it's, you know, it's another social worker, it's another person, uh, exactly. a, a do-gooder trying to tell me how to live my life when they don't know jack about my life. And so yeah. they see us coming, and so they, their their wall is already up. And so you get, but so what you have to do is find a way to get into their space, 
you have to find a way to get them to invite you in. And so you, you go, you go in through the side door, you go in through the window, you come in through the back door, and and you say, oh, you know, and they say, oh, you know. So you, you find a way to get in, and you usually do that by doing something else that's maybe not related to them, maybe related to their brother or sister. That's why. That's why if you target, you start young, you know, six to ten. That's an age where you know it's not too young and it's not too old because I mean they're dropping out of high school. But a lot of them also aren't even getting to high school. And so you got to start younger. And so yeah. you come in with your focus. We're going to help these young kids there and their families. And so you, you get in because you're going to help, you know, their little brother Omar. And so you – and then you find out – and then, see, there's a model that the hospital have. They have their patient navigation uh, uh, services where, you know, you come in with a broken leg or something. Then they find out, okay – um, you need help with your teeth, you need this, you know, you, or your your uh, grandmother needs this. And so they set you up. They find out what's going on in the environment, and they, they send you on your way with, this is where you need to go, here, come here for tests, and they do all that. So we are going to kind of model that and have a uh, uh, basically a mentoring and informational kind of resource service so that we'll find out from the organization that these families are attached to because we don't, we're not going to go in and be in the home or anything like that, no. There are organizations that are on the ground already, like the Saturday morning tur- tutoring program at the Church of the Covenant, or you know you have these other organizations, you know, uh, uh, No Limit Leadership, you know, they, you know, um, you know, there's a youth initiative program, and so these people are already there, and so yeah. you you partner with them and you say, okay, who, you know, we're a small organization, so we're we're starting out small, so. Show us what's the worst case scenario, basically. You know, we want to because we because we need to test this in the in the Sahara, in the in the in the Antarctic, in, in the Antarctic, Antarctica, and Darfur of despair. We have we have to go to Mars for this. We have, we have to test ours in, in the um, in the harshest environment because if it can work there, it'll work anywhere. It'll work anywhere if it works there. So so we're not gonna we're not gonna piddle around. We're going. Uh, like I said, we're we're going, you know, to the heart of the problem, you know, where it's at, to the epicenter, to the nexus of all these issues. To test. Now, to let's, test. let's where, where, can can you tell the people out there uh, if they want to get involved with the Rose of Education organization, uh, where they should, uh, you know, is, is there a website out up there, or is there an email address that they can uh, send their information to? There's an email address. It's Anthony at the rose of education dot org, and so that's my. And then we also have one. Uh, maybe they should send it to in, it, t- send it to info at the rose of education dot org. That that was okay. that, that's a better one actually. So okay. we have to keep that separate. And and see what happens is that I, I have the you all want an ecstatic website. You know, like I said I wasn't planning on going this fast, but the education opened the door, and so we're rushing through, and so. That's fine. I'm talking. Look, you know, I'm talking to a couple of young brothers I met um, a week ago, and we're going to talk uh-huh. about them take care of the website. You know, get get everything. But so so that that's going to be taken care of. So we don't want anybody to get discouraged by that. Oh, you know, you look at the links and it's just a blank page. But do you know how much it costs to the host and and put you know certify and register seventeen domain names? It's yeah. not, I mean, wh- what it cost me for just two was a lot of money because I wanted to make sure I had everything I needed. And so yeah. we set it up with 17, and, but we haven't done anything yet. But so the money has been spent, spent. They're just waiting. They're not empty. They're not vaporware. They're just waiting. They're waiting for people to come in. So that's why we're making this announcement. And so we're doing it tonight on Life and Technology that we are, we are hiring. We will be hiring. We're looking for interns and volunteers now to help now. And you will have a job when things get up and going. And then, you know, so we'll, we'll publish this list of the different companies and the different products. And people say, pick one. Pick, which, pick what company you would like to work at and pick what product you would like to work on developing, whether it be the iDictator. <laughs> uh, that's going to be a great device. That is going to, that is going to be so cool. I can't wait because if, if it was out now, I would pin spend 250 bucks for it because it's, it's worth it. Well, maybe I'd spend 149.99 or 149.95. That's what I'd spend for it. 
and I'd be using it right now instead of what I'm using. I'd be using something else. I wouldn't be using that. I wouldn't be using my thoughts. So it's, it's, it's going to be nice. Or maybe they want to work on the queue, cuethemusic.com. You know, so it's, or they may want to work on the um, walk speed. The walk, what's well, called the walk step. The walk, <laughs> the speed training and endurance program. So it, it's something that we come up with that is like, oh, my goodness, this thing works. I can't believe it works. Walking speed. Dot com, walking speed dot com, and so we come up with some some innovative things. And again, all the all the um, all the advertising is already built into the names. You know, we got the Hog ATS. The Hog ATS is cool. You know, I was I was doing it with my sons in California. I was showing it to them. I was showing, oh, I, and yeah, I'm 51 years old. My son is 25. I showed him the Hummingbird. That's, that's one of the first ones. That's for foot speed and changing the direction and quickness and explosiveness, uh-huh. balance. <laughs> I have it on video. So you have we only, so we were only about six feet apart, and uh-huh. I burned him. I got him. He, you know, we, he, just had, he just had to tag me. He just had to tag me. He couldn't get me. I ha- and I have it on video, and it will be online. But, but you know, it, it's still working out, and I'm you know, still modeling stuff, but it's great. Then we have the rub down workout. The rub down workout. That's that's a cool one too. So we have things out there that will save people money. We have things out there that will save them time and that they work. You know, we're not gonna be selling crazy stuff like the ab rocker and the and the bow flex and you know, they don't have to spend their money on that. They can do some of the stuff at home and it works. You know, I just I, I, before I came here, I came from the gym and I was working out my chest doing the total one sixty in the complete one sixty. And yeah, you know, only using uh, only using forty pound weights, mm-hmm. forty pound dumbbells. My chest was fried after that. Just using so this sounds like an entire cultural. It's so you every, it, you know, life the thing about it. This is just the beginning. This is just for education. I haven't talked to you about what we have coming for sci- the sciences. We have a couple of genetic uh, research papers that we're gonna we're gonna be publishing. Working with a couple of uh, <laughs> we're, we're, we're gonna we're gonna have to have you on again uh, to to discuss to discuss the science thing. We're we're running we're running about an hour right now. Uh, but no I, but what I want to do good. is I want to I want to I want to read a little bit of something that you sent me uh, okay. real quick, and then I want you to uh, to you know um, we'll we'll do a little uh, closing thing here. So the virtual mentor machine will be a web based networking database and communication software that will seamless, seamlessly and safely connect a mentor with a student 24-7. I wanted to read that uh, because that's an incredible initiative. Um, and I think that um, uh, it's, it's um, I think that it's, it's something that, that's needed. Um, and, you know, I wish you the best and I hope, you know, if anything, you know, that we can do or, or anything like that, anything you want to post on our site. Uh, I know you said that you wanted to um, uh, to lay out this whole entire thing, uh, the, the wording and everything like that. So I want to invite you to, if you want to use our site for that and, and, and try to get volunteers from our site, you're more than welcome. But I think this the, the virtual mentor machine, the Rose of Education organization, this is all a great initiative, and, and I wish you the best of luck with that. Well, listen, yeah, to I'm going to say everybody. No, I was going to say, yeah, I wanted to thank you, too, man. It was a real pleasure talking to you. Sounds like you have a lot of initiatives going on, a lot of vision, and if a lot of these things come into fruitation, it can be good for all. Yeah, I, and, that's, and that's what we need, man. We, we need to just look at this problem differently and say, okay, we talked enough, let's just do, that's all. You know, and it doesn't take a lot, you know, and all we have to do is come together and 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 do this. And I, I'm so appreciative of you guys having me on, especially so quickly. I mean, I was great. I was, you know, I, I was wondering how I was going to start getting this stuff out, especially with, um, <laughs> then, you know, then the election happened. It's like, oh, perfect. It was so perfect. And so the timing is perfect. And so what I'd what I like to propose, propose to BI, the Blacks in Technology, is that we want to partner. The Roads of Education organization wants to announce an official partnership. That Because what's going to happen when we make this call, 
starting because I mean, the call is going to go out. It's going to be a pre-campaign call, meaning that we're looking for interns now. We're going to be making a, um, a, a, a national announcement, you know, first web-based, and we're looking at maybe doing some YouTube stuff as well. And so we're going to work all that stuff. But, you know, come January, come January 1st, we're going to do it nationwide. But we're going to have a pre-campaign up from now until uh, January, I mean, December 31st. And so everybody who, who becomes a member, all they have to do is go to link, LinkedIn, if they're a member of LinkedIn, and they can just click and join. That's all they have to do. And maybe just say, here I am, you know, and, you know, uh, this is what I'm interested in. Because what we'll do, what I'll do is on the, um, uh, on the Rose of Education organization, a group, Oh, actually, I'm trying. I'll try to think where I put it because maybe I'll, I'll post it. I'll post the information here as well, and as well as a couple places, and I'll I'll make that available where the information they can go to see what's all available. Because actually, I have it up on a blog called the Rose Proposal, and I'll, okay. I'll I'll give that information to you as well. So people can just go there. They can look and see what they what they want to do, and then I'll post a, a link to you know an email address and say I'd like to be involved with this. You know, I want to be involved with that organization, this, and this is what I do. This is what I'd like to do, and and so those people who, who sign up between here, here now and then will be the first to be offered a job. You know, we're, we're looking here, you know, but we're look, what we're looking for them to do is though we need help with the roads of education. So if they help, so basically, if they help us with the roads, they'll really have they'll really have a job, and they can sign up, and we'll they'll be the first. You know, so they don't have to do anything to get a job. They can just sign up, and they'll be the first considered. But if they work, if they're helping us, if they intern, if they're you know helping us write grants, if they're helping us to find money, if they're helping us to you know you know with some you know database administration, you know if they help if, if they help us, they will have a job. So if they intern and volunteer, and it's because again, we're going to be getting money in, and so when the money comes in, it's going out to those who's helping. You know, so that's what's going to going to happen. So. You okay. know, they, they, they're they're not going to be spinning wheels on something, some uh, empty initiative. But we're asking them to get in line now, <laughs> because when we when we take this nationwide, because we're, we're saying it's the year of the job, 2011, coming to Ohio, African American, minority, technology, education, all 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 the, all the things we've been talking about. That's coming, and you know, because you got what they say, if you build it, they will, they will come. come. Yeah, if you build it. And tell them their jobs, they'll come running, especially in this, in this economy. So we'll ask yeah. them, you know, do you need a job? Come up with this, you'll have a job. Come sign up. This is what's coming, and we need people. We need an army of everybody. And so an uh, organization like VIT, uh, who has a lot of their expertise, you know, and there are people out there looking, what, what, what are they going to do next? So, you know, I'm you know, trying to, you know, you guys can help with the training. You guys can help with, you know, you guys have a job. Put it that way. If you guys want to do something, because you know there's a lot of companies out there that are going to be that are going to need you know directors and and everything else, or or just we can help you. I mean, whatever you, whatever you guys want to do, we want to help. So everything okay. will be everybody's everybody's doing because everybody's doing the same thing, trying to help these young ones and help these families, help them get on their feet and on their way. Get them on their way. Get them on their way so they can you know they can do their thing. Everybody's helping with that. We'll be taken care of. We'll be working. We'll all be working together. And so, however, we can, we're just we're going to do the supporting of each other that we should have been doing a long time ago. We're going to say, Good Samaritans, we 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 appreciate the help you've given our people. We thank you for that. But um, uh, your services are no longer required. We can take care of our own damn selves. That's what we're like that's what that. we're going to tell them. So we will take care of our own. So that's how I want to end it. <laughs> Great. Hey, hey, Anthony, man, I, I really appreciate uh, you taking the time out of, of your evening uh, to, to have this interview with us. And um, I want to I mention real quick, uh, you, you actually have a, a blog as well. Uh, that's thehallwaymonitor.com. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's where it all began. Yeah. So that's where it all began. And if, and if you read the ahead. article, um, America, uh, we have a language problem. That will tell you where, where, the, where it all began. Where, yeah, because cause that's where the rose came from, because the rose stands for language. It's the language gotcha. of education we need to change. And so we're, it's, the, it's the language of education organization. That's really what it means. So the rose, language is like a rose. It's beautiful, you know, but we use it. We don't use it nearly as well as we should. 
to do good, and that's what we want to do. So we're using language to do good. That's what the Rose of Education organization means to. We use language and communication to do something good. Yeah. Great, great. So it's the Highway Monitor dot com, the Rose of Education organization, the Virtual Mentor Machine, Anthony Hall. I want to thank you once again uh, for taking the time out um, and for a great interview. And we hope hey, that you know, we'll, have, we'll, have, we'll definitely have you on here again because uh, there's. There's a lot to talk about, and there's a lot, more, you know, more to be said. So, All right, definitely. And if so, let me let me know when you get the link because I'm gonna send that to everybody, and they gotta go to your website to look at it. So we're gonna be driving okay. traffic to your site. Great. So send yeah, me the link yeah. about where where they need to get it up because that's what I was sending out when I was listening to Kai's interview. It's like, oh man, I even saved it in my favorite so I can listen to it again because it was good. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> definitely, I will so, definitely so, yeah, email so, um, you when it's available. Fantastic, man. How long does that normally take? Uh, it's just, I should have it probably done by the end of the weekend. Oh, no problem, no problem. So I'll just, I'll, I'm just going to let people know in the, in the group know that I'm going to send it out to everybody else. Hey, this is what's coming. I had an interview with these guys. Check them out. Join the group. That's all, all right, great. fellas. Hey, it was wonderful talking to you guys. Thanks, Ronnie. Thanks, Greg. And, and I, I'm coming down Anthony. to Cincinnati, man. I'm, gonna, I'm planning to come down so I can meet you guys because I need to meet oh, you guys. Oh, definitely. First. Definitely. Hit That'll us be up, good. We'll, we'll be uh, more than happy to hang out. Oh, we can do a great, video man. podcast with him too when he comes. Oh, that would be awesome! Oh, that would be great. That'd be great. Yeah, <laughs> we'll, we'll we'll work the logistics out on that. We'll, we'll def- we definitely need to do that though. All right, man. Hey, my brothers, listen. You you have a fabulous night. Have a wonderful weekend. You 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 started my weekend off fantastic. I'm gonna take a little break and relax because okay. Monday, you know, with the jet is firing up his engine. So. <laughs> Sounds good, man. Right. You take care. All right, brothers, you take care, too. Good night. Bye. All right. Bye. Blacks in technology. Blacks, blacks, blacks in technology. Blacks in technology. Black, blacks in technology. Blacks in technology. Black, blacks in technology.